everyone, I'm Craig Dangerously, and for today we will cover the environmental impact mining has on water systems. Hey, my name's Billy. What do you mean about water systems? How can mining impact the water? Good question, Billy. There are many different ways water systems can be affected, as they are connected to environmental justice issues. For example, your family and friends in your community are experiencing an environmental justice issue due to mining and pollution in streams right here in Appalachia. Could you tell me more about the history of the area in your family? Since the 1990s, much of the coal production has come from mountaintop removal. Currently in Appalachia, this is a process where mining companies blast as much as several hundred feet of hilltop away to expose layers of coal, which they then strip before blasting their way to the next layer. This region's hydrology has been transformed, but how does this relate to environmental justice? Injustices can be caused when the environment is damaged through pollution. This in turn has a harmful impact on individuals and what makes it an injustice. The surrounding communities of Appalachia experience higher levels of both air and water pollution while also suffering from higher rates of illnesses than similar communities located further away. But how would the community I live in, in the Appalachian Mountains, be impacted by an environmental justice issue? The damage that is caused by mountaintop removal strip mining has had a profound effect on the environment and communities in the region. The area is rich in resources, although it remains economically deprived and suffers from the externalities of coal mining. How is this different than any other community? Over time, the gap in mortality rates between coal mining areas and other areas of Appalachia and the nation has increased. I know that many streams begin on mountainsides, and it is these mountainsides that are being mined. Is this leading to an environmental justice issue as the region's headwaters have been transformed? Yes, in place of mountains, which are formed from layers of solid rock and coal with a layer of dirt on the surface, there are now deep sinks. Water now remains in these porous fills and they collect chemicals from the shattered rock. As a result, I've definitely noticed mining pollutants produce fish and plant life far downstream from the valley fills formed during this mining. Toxic heavy metals present in coal such as arsenic, mercury, and lead are found in every stage of mining waste. This combines and is dumped into nearby valleys and probably impacts my family and our farm. This has buried over 2,000 miles of Appalachian streams. The water that trickles through the base of the valley fills is burdened with heavy metals, dissolved salts, and other toxic substances. This contaminates ground and surface water. I and my many neighbors have many health conditions. Is there any relationship between water contamination due to mining and a person's health? Streams polluted by mining waste correspond to increased rates of cancer mortality nearby. There is evidence supporting the highest mortality rates are in areas with the highest levels of mining. The coal is washed using chemicals that are known to cause cancer, heart, and lung damage. This is often disposed of in ponds. I could definitely see this causing a slurry of impurities, including coal dust and chemical agents. This is often injected into abandoned underground mines leading to groundwater contamination. Do you know of any protections that are in place to help my family and my community? The Clean Water Act improved the quality of water for much of America, but created zones that are disproportionately affected. In the United States, coal mining communities in Appalachia hit the environmental effects of industry and agriculture from individuals in suburbs, but increased exposure to danger for people who live near sites of pollution. How does the Environmental Protection Agency help with the prevention of these issues? The Environmental Protection Agency has implemented not only the Clean Water Act, but also the National Environmental Protection Act to help evaluate options for improving agency programs that contribute to reducing the adverse environmental impacts of mountaintop mining, operations, and excess soil valleys, fills, and Appalachia. I've heard about the Screen Protection Rule. What is this supposed to do? In December 2016, the federal government released a stream protection rule restricting certain surface coal mining activities in and around waterways. Despite this being a weaker rule than the community of Appalachia would have liked to see enforced, it was an improvement. I do know that on February 17, 2017, President Trump signed a bill killing the stream protection rule, while also prohibiting any similar rule from being developed for a long time. I know this issue is many layers deep, pun intended, 
and is always changing, as thousands of residents in the rural Appalachia struggle with the issues of water quality and accessibility. However, becoming involved in community education may help to promote an understanding of how to meet water accessibility needs from a cultural perspective. Research is also very important to address this environmental justice issue. Research would have a long-term effect that would help determine the source of contamination and develop education for individuals both up and downstream of the major contamination points. There are also many petitions that are currently in progress to gain enough signatures in opposition to mountaintop removal. The legislation that this is working towards is to regulate the practice and perhaps even ban the whole thing in the future. This can help protect communities much like mine. And I know my com much of my community is involved in something called Appalachian Voices. What do they do? Is that something I could get involved in? Appalachian Voices remains committed to defending the region's watersheds and communities from the harmful impacts of mountaintop removal mining. They work with citizens and public interest groups to continue to use community science-based evidence, political pressure, and when necessary, legal strategies to achieve the goal. This would be a way to become involved at your community level.